Grounding is not all about electrons. It's also about frequency, electromagnetic potentials, and the overall electromagnetic environment that you immerse yourself in. And in this video, I'll help you to improve your earthing and grounding practice, and therefore improve your overall health and wellness by giving you a better fundamental understanding of earthing and grounding and electromagnetism in general. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Stefan. If you're new to this topic, let's just start with what is earthing and grounding? Earthing and grounding, they're two terms for the same thing, is a wellness practice that basically recognizes the bioelectrical nature of our bodies and of our life. So we have a lot of different electromagnetic potentials of the body. Our heart has an electromagnetic field. Our brain has an electromagnetic field that it creates. There's different cellular voltage gradients. DNA is highly conductive. It's a fractal antenna. There's all these various electromagnetic potentials and factors at play when it comes to our health and wellness, our biology, and just life in general. Earthing and grounding is a wellness practice that puts you in conductive contact with the earth. The human body is conductive, the earth is conductive, and then a flow of free electrons is facilitated between you and the earth. And this is true. When you uh, are out in a natural environment like this, I'm here at the, the Dnieper River in Kyiv, right on the sand, and there's a, a lot of uh, you know good geophysical energy here, and there are free electrons that are floating and moving around at the, uh, at the atomic scale. And this helps you to reduce charge in your body, get rid of charge, and that's a good thing. Now, the typical way of grounding yourself is to buy a grounding product, like a grounding sheet, and to plug that into a building, into the ground system. Because you have the uh, electrical system in the building, but you also have a ground system, which everything decharges to. If there's any excess energy, it goes to the ground system, and then that flows out to a ground rod and then into the earth outside the building. Um, so that's the standard way, and the idea is that uh, as you uh, lay on this sheet, whether it's like a cotton sheet with silver threads, or like I have a video on how to create a do-it-yourself earthing sheet that you can watch here, then you can facilitate charge to leave your body and free electrons to come in because your body is highly conductive. Things like connective tissues, your fascia, uh, tendons, ligaments, things of this nature, they hold on to free electrons, the extracellular living matrix. And these free electrons in general are antioxidants, help to neutralize uh, free radicals, and they're good for your overall health and wellness um, because they limit these uh, runaway chemical reactions that are very oxidizing in the body. The problem with earthing and grounding, uh, as it's typically uh, discussed conventionally in the mainstream, is that it's overly focused on electrons. And it's just, okay, if a, volt, if a voltimeter reads that you're uh, now at zero volts, then everything's fine. You're grounded, you're perfect, good job, everything's gravy. Uh, you know, your charge is being dissipated and you're bringing in free, free electrons from this ground. The problem is that really grounding and earthing from a more holistic perspective, from a larger, electromagnetic perspective is about the environment that you're in. So you could be in a building and you could be connected to a ground and the voltimeter could be showing zero volts, uh, depends on how sensitive that voltimeter is, but it could be showing zero volts, but you could still be totally saturated with electromagnetic frequencies. There's the power grid running at 50 and 60 Hertz. There's all the cellular and Wi-Fi signals. There could be a, a smart meter for your gas system, let's say like a PG&E smart meter. There could be, maybe you have like a, a smart fridge, your TV. There's all these different things that could be running. Maybe baby monitors that have their own uh, wireless network. You have your phone next to you. Maybe you're sleeping with your phone next to you, not on airplane mode every night, right? I could go on and on. There's all these different electromagnetic frequencies, artificial, electromagnetic frequencies that are saturated in that part of space time, in that local environment, okay? And just because you have an earthing sheet 
that's then connected to the ground system of building does not mean that all of a sudden everything is perfect and that you're totally fine. In fact, a lot of people buy earthing products and they comment in different forums like the earthing subreddit that, oh my God, like I had a terrible night's sleep. I've been using this earthing sheet for two weeks and I feel awful. Um, you know, I'm having, I, I barely sleep. I'm feeling like uh, I'm waking up super tired all the time. Uh, this is like the number one new post topic that pops up in this subreddit. And effectively what this is uh, highlighting is how when you connect to the building's ground system, you're actually picking up more electromagnetic energy than you would have otherwise. And the reason why is because you have to understand electromagnetism and how it works. Every magnetic field can induce electric currents and electric currents can create magnetic fields. So if you are connected to the ground system of a building, but the power system is oscillating, this alternating uh, current is creating these pulse electromagnetic fields at 50 and 60 hertz. And you have cellular signals that are pulsing millions to billions of times per second and all these frequencies in between from extremely low frequency to the microwave spectrum, then those magnetic fields are going to indu induce those currents into the uh, ground system of this building or this apartment, whatever your house. And then those oscillations, those frequencies, those vibrations are then going to be induced in you too because they'll travel uh, and they'll be induced in this earthing product that you have, let's say. So uh, we need to talk about frequency. These fields are fundamentally about frequency. And when you're thinking about earthing and grounding, you should be thinking about what are your frequencies that you're oscillating at? What frequencies are your electrons oscillating at? That, what are frequencies are your cells oscillating at? What frequencies is your DNA connecting to? Because your DNA is a fractal antenna. It's highly conductive. It has free electrons within its base pair structure that can be stimulated to move because even extremely weak magnetic fields in the Pico Tesla range, like the Schumann resonances, natural electromagnetic fields that exist in around zero to 50 Hertz, they can induce electrons to move within DNA and change gene expression, for example. So the uh, electromagnetic environment that you're in determines the oscillations and the frequencies of um, electrons, among other things, different molecules, for example. And that's incredibly important for your overall health and wellness from the atomic scale and up. And that is just overlooked. I don't think it's really known in the earthing and grounding community because there's this, this over fixation on electrons. So earthing and grounding really is less about uh, discharging free electrons. That's certainly important because free electrons, uh, having a good reservoir free electrons in your body keeps you uh, in a uh, state that is uh, overall lower charge, helps to neutralize free radical activity in your body, which can be very damaging, you know, breaking cellular bonds, things of that nature. You don't want to be in a inflamed free radical state, uh, but it's more than just free electrons. It's also about how those electrons are vibrating because there's certain vibrations that are more conducive for health and wellness and longevity and some vibrations that aren't really good for your health and wellness and your longevity. So in general, the natural electromagnetic frequencies that we evolved in for millions and billions of years are the ones that you want to be immersed in. So for example, here at uh, the Dnipro River in Kiev, I'm on the, uh, the, the river bank right here. I'm still in the city, but I'm further away from the city. I'm immersed in a more natural electromagnetic environment. I'm not in a building right now. The power system is not immediately near me. I don't have power lines running near me. And that makes a big fundamental difference. So this is much more grounding here than it would be if I was in a building laying on a grounding sheet. And I'm making this video actually because I just had a really interesting experience. I'm going to share this with you uh, where I was at my hostel and I'm in the basement floor of the hostel and I, uh, when I'm in that room, I can actively hear uh, a constant ringing noise. I don't have tinnitus, 
but there's a constant ringing noise. And that's because the power system, about 50 to 60 hertz, depending on where you live, 50 hertz in Europe, uh, can induce, uh, if it's strong enough, you can actually hear it. So uh, there's a constant tinnitus, a constant ringing noise in my room, and I went to sleep and I wasn't sleeping well. And then uh, I woke up just, I, I didn't wake up completely, but I was just about to wake up. I was in REM sleep and I had this huge, 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 just pulsing and ringing and pressure in my head. And it was this very interesting dream where it was like magneto reception. And I was like, it was struggling. I was like struggling to like open my eyes and to like look around me. And I knew that I needed to get out of the room. So I was like slowly getting up and I was grabbing my card key. The dream was almost exactly like real life. Um, and I knew I was like, something's wrong here. Something is not good. There's like this incredible, crazy pressure and energy in my head and this can't be normal. And then I actually woke up and it subsided, but the ringing was still there. And I realized that where I am in this hostel is totally saturated with electromagnetic energy and that there must be a power line coming into the building, feeding the entire hostel building um, right next to my room. So I'm gonna have to change rooms, um, but I wasn't able to go back to sleep and I realized, okay, it's actually, I'm not meant to go back to sleep today. I meant to go out. I meant to go to a natural environment, do some grounding right now. And then I decided to make this video to talk about this because I've been seeing these constant comments on Reddit and in other forums about, oh, it's just about electrons. It's not about frequency or anything else. Electromagnetic potentials don't matter. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share that with you and to be aware that if you are going to uh, really, really, really be into earthing and grounding and that you really recognize the importance of improving your body's electromagnetic environment and potentials, all these different um, uh, electromagnetic currents and flows within your body across different scales, going from the quantum all the way up to the cellular and then you know the larger electromagnetic potentials of the body, then you should be aware of the influence that frequency has because the frequency is very important. Um, the body doesn't really like these 50 to 60 hertz frequencies. They're unnatural frequencies. They're not natural frequencies uh, in Earth's geophysical systems. The natural frequencies are the Schumann resonances at 7.8 hertz, 14 hertz, 20 hertz, 25, 33, 39, 45, and they get weaker as they get higher in frequency. I have a bunch of videos on the Schumann resonances. I have a video about an hour long that talks about all the different known biologic interactions with the Schumann resonances going all the way from DNA to cells and beyond. So you can watch that video here. Very, very good intro. I also have a video on how electromagnetic fields and health are related. Uh, so it's not directly on earthing and grounding, but it gives a lot of information as to why earthing and grounding is such an important health and wellness practice. So I recommend that you watch those videos. I also have video playlists with other videos on these topics. So you'll see those links in the video description. And also an announcement is that uh, after I finish my uh, trip here in Ukraine, I will be uh, completing my book, uh, which right now is tentatively titled Schumann Residences in Human Bioelectricity. I think the title is going to be different, but right now it's on pre-order sale for $22. And when I finish this and I release the, the book, it's going to be $33. So it's 50% off right now. And I'll be writing that at the end of the summer and releasing that out because it's time to really dive into this uh, in extreme detail and also provide that, you know, simplified summary understanding for the world. So if you want to get that 50% off, then you can do that now by pre-ordering the book. Help support me uh, on my travels right now. But regardless, that book will be coming out in just a couple months, hopefully just a couple months. Um, I feel like I finally have all the information I need to write this book to the level and detail uh, needed by the general population in the world. So I hope that you look into it. I hope you buy that. I hope you find it useful. Um, and so, yeah, just want to let you know that time is running out to pre-order and to get it at 55% uh, 50 off 
at $22 because it'll be $33 once it's released. Um, and yeah, so I hope you found this video useful uh, to think about how uh, the frequencies that you immerse yourself in are very, very important and the body will give you signs and signals at times like I just experienced of how maybe your environment is not the best for you. So trust your body's intuition. With time, you can develop your body's intuition. And if you're gonna start an earthing or grounding practice, or if you're gonna further develop your earthing and grounding practice, then please be aware that the, the real good stuff is when you go outside in nature and to connect to the natural electromagnetic fields. And uh, you can make your own do-it-yourself earthing mat with my video. Make sure you uh, drive a ground rod into like, you know, good native uh, virgin ground away from any electrical lines that will improve the earthing grounding experience. But fundamentally, that's still in a building that has all these different uh, fields. So you really want to make sure that you get outside in nature every single day. And that is a very important integral part of any earthing and grounding practice from my perspective. And I hope you found that useful. So. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, click the like button, subscribe to see more content like this. I also cover topics like space weather, geomagnetic storms, solar flares, solar cycle 25, Schumann residences, uh, health and wellness practices that you can do to improve your uh, bioelectricity, your health and wellness, like yoga, grounding, earthing, uh, you know, things to eat, things like that. So uh, I cover this holistically all the way from the different environmental factors at play, the uh, even like interplanetary and cosmic factors at play, some of the astrological factors at play that influence your health and wellness, the physics of like manifestation, for example, some of these spiritual metaphysical topics all the way down to like what's happening in your body at the like quantum cellular atomic scales. So I hope you find this all useful. Please subscribe and I hope to see you in future videos. Thanks so much and have a great day. Ciao.